greetings from Times Square. Now Times Square is a very famous location, a very famous area within New York City itself. Um, tourists come here, plenty of tourists come here. I doubt many locals do. Uh, this place is known for tourists and uh, is a tourist trap, if you ask me. Um, in my honest opinion, um, it, it's an interesting place because it's it's got the lights, it's got the uh, um, places that people want to go to, such as Eminem World and Ripley's Believe It or Not or Madame to Swords. But my opinion is that they're pretty much the same as they are anywhere else. And if any of you have heard my opinions before on Leicester Square in London, uh, they will know that um, I don't like tourist traps. So just to show you some of the tourist traps that are here, um, there's a number of uh, places here where you will get charged an extortionate amount of money just because you're in a famous location and you've got the Spider-Man over here you've got what's that, King Kong over there as well and what they do is uh, they're grabbing people to take photographs with them and then asking for money you've got Mickey Mouse Minnie Mouse and God knows what other mouse uh, over there and all sorts of I don't even know half of these characters to be honest but I'm sure the kids know but they will take photographs and they're grabbing people and they will ask for um, a certain amount of money once they've taken the photo uh, with them let's be honest if you take a photo with Minnie Mouse with somebody in a Minnie Mouse costume I should say not Minnie Mouse uh, is it something that you're going to look at I'm not too sure but as you can see over here there's a, a number of them a number of uh, they've got a couple of spider-mans over there one of them looks a bit overweight actually spider-man should be lean and trim if you ask me and uh, there's a number of them a number of these uh, people in costumes who are stopping people there was actually a guy who was taking photographs of random people and then trying to get them to pay for it um, I saw a couple that almost had an argument with him I was actually filming something else at the time uh, and uh, yeah he just took a photo of them so that's something I, I've never seen that before so maybe that's another thing where they're earning money so they just take a photo of you and get you to try and buy it uh, but you know Times Square it's you know, I've, I haven't actually been here a few times before because I've stayed um, a couple of times actually before I've stayed in the Wellington Hotel which is closed down and I walked past it today so it was very close to me so every time I used to walk left out of the hotel uh, Times Square is what, you're, what you bump into on the 7th Avenue and I mean for the lights it's quite good at night time it is quite good to, to come down here to sit and um, watch people I think watch time go by because you know the lights are quite fascinating but you know it's a tourist trap you know there's nothing more that I can say about it really there's a, it's it's one for tourists to visit and spend their money on stuff that they don't really want or need um, but just because you're on holiday you know it's something that a lot of people will just say yeah go on I'll take a photo with spider-man or Mickey Mouse or danger mouse or whatever mouse um, there is and uh, it's uh, yeah it's uh, a tourist trap what I will say is that you know there's lots of other places that are close to um, Times Square that, um, that you should actually go and see um, spend some time in Times Square sit down they've actually got a nice seating area over here and you can uh, you can just wind some time watch the lights sometimes there's a good performance or two from a local street artist they're worth seeing but I wouldn't personally myself spend any money here uh, everything's overpriced uh, you're, you're not going to get any value coming down here uh, they know that the tourists come here the tourists will spend so the prices are actually quite high almost to the levels of extortionate but that's just how it is in these touristy places and like I say Leicester Square in London is practically the same it's you know the brother and sister as far as I'm concerned Times Square and Leicester Square uh, or cousins or call them whatever 
but they're the same they do the same serve the same purpose and i can see the mouses here they are the mice i should say the mouses the mice over here waiting for their next customer let's see who they get oh look at the mouse there he's gone off to something he's attacking the children he's trying to find out if he can get them to take her uh, oh yeah using the sympathy trick there you know emotional blackmail oh they've taken see this she's taking a picture she's taking a picture let's see let's see if some uh, let's see if some funding comes I'm not sure if any funding will come Oh, now they're gonna now there's the bargaining going on here so there was a bit of bargaining going on i'm seeing if he uh now nah, he actually played hardball there and uh and he didn't uh he didn't reach out for his wallet that's good that's what you should do when they come and grab your child uh, that's what you should do here's the photographer this is the photographer guy he's going after people with his camera and i'm following him with my camera what a double act we are this, this is quite funny but yeah he's just uh looking for people uh, if he sees uh, especially couples I'll see uh, and uh, that's one there so that's just she's gone off it's gone off the three people there he's taking a picture of them and, uh, no they just walk by they're not having any of it they've just said we're not falling for that one brother and uh, he had a laugh on his face but yeah this is Times Square this is how the hustle goes down in Times Square this is a place where they hustle and uh, with the tourists because they're here and they are here to, to spend their money and uh, enjoy themselves I guess like every other tourist then um, you know it's easier it's easier to part with your money I guess when you are on holiday because you're not really thinking about it um, I do the same thing I don't really think about uh, I'm not ever since I've got here I don't really think about um, how much I'm actually getting out from my wallet if a coffee costs a certain amount of dollars or food costs this much you just pay it and you don't really think about what your, your where the money goes I guess and a lot of tourists are in the same position when you go to another country you've got to you know, mo you know unless you go self catering or something you've got to eat out and you've got to drink out uh, you, you enjoy yourself when you're going out and you do spend a lot and you do spend a lot of money and this is one place where the hustle is on so you've got a lot of uh, a lot of activity going on here you've got a um, is that a uh, sort of protest going on there for the uh, uh, for the Ukrainians it says Biden dismantle Russia the empire of evil so we've got some um, people who are focusing on the Ukrainian cause so uh, yeah it's uh, maybe there's a you know Times Square's for everyone not just for the hustle but also for the politically conscious as well which is a uh, which is good to see and uh, something different I guess something different but here in Times Square you could see it um, the hustle is going on there's lots of people attempting to make make money conduct their business oh, King Kong over here that King Kong's putting me off a bit because uh, as I was walking around he's in my eye line it looks like uh, King Kong is gonna attack you King Kong's coming after you but I mean look at the state of that spider-man next to King Kong that spider-man looks like a child child himself but we've got some street performers here as well
were the street performers and to be honest that's the best thing that I've seen in Times Square today the uh, you can see the level of practice and dedication that they have uh, to their performance their art their craft uh, was fantastic uh, but you know Times Square as, as a whole I would say stick to the performances like that uh, because the rest of the uh, tourist traps that I hear um, there's nothing really I can say positive about them. I'm trying to say something positive about them because I'm on holiday um, and I don't want to be negative but uh, I'm sorry, I just can't lie. So from Times Square, it's a uh, goodbye. Thank <laughs> you.